Hello, I'm Alex Lundgren, the product manager for Seeding Intillage at Agco, and I want to welcome you to Beloit, Kansas, where we're introducing our newest planter, Momentum. And I wanted to talk to you today about a couple exciting features that makes this planter the most agronomically advanced planter in the industry. So we've got a couple of smart frame technologies that we're going to highlight for you today, and the first one being our contouring toolbar. So every farmer uh, has agronomic challenges that he deals with, first being even emergence. Everyone wants that picket fence stand. So when you're driving by the field, you can just see that, and we want to be able to maximize our yields. So what contouring toolbar does is as you're going through the field, we are monitoring your parallel arms and always want to ensure that they are level so we are optimizing the row unit's performance. And we're doing that with sensors that are all across the toolbar. And we are adjusting with the two cylinders here automatically throughout the field to ensure we are maximizing uh, the emergence of your crop. Hello, I'm Rex Schertz. I'm the engineering manager for Agco and the Seeding and Tillage. Standing here in the factory at Beloit, Kansas today, ready to show you the most exciting product I have been a part of releasing out of this company. It's the Momentum Planter. There's a lot of things that make this thing super exciting, but let me show you a couple of these things today. Everybody knows compaction is a yield robber, right? That takes away from your bottom line. That's been thought into this planter. What we've done, we've came back, we picked the right tires for you guys. We have the VF tires that come into this that really help just with nothing else, right? Picking the right tire. Step number one. Step number two, we put them in the right place. We have an inline tandem sitting right here, right? Two tires, one stacked in front of each other. Why did we do this? Compaction happens on your first pass, right? Everybody knows that most of your compaction is on the first pass. So we stuck them in line. Not only did we stick them in line, we stuck these in line right behind a tractor tire, right? We already take advantage of the compaction that happens from that tractor, not compacting it more. We put these right behind where they need to be. So now we have inline tandems that give you the flotation of what we would have in a track, yet the road speed of what we're gonna have on tires. But we didn't stop there. So we have a central tire inflation system on this machine. So this does allow us to adjust tire, but we, or adjust the inflation, but not just that. We took and we put a load spindle on every tire. So what ruins a tire is too much load at too high a speed. That's what tears the tire apart. So now we know the load, we know the speed. So we're going to optimize the pressure in your tire to minimize the compaction, right? We can take this down to 15 PSI. At 15 PSI, we're not doing the damage to the ground. At 15 PSI inside, that means we're only putting 15 PSI to the ground. So we're really, truly optimizing that. But along with that, we also know we have a big commodity system up here. We've got a lot of weight we need to be handling with, right? We have load transfer with this machine. And it's smart. Everything on this planter is a smart system. It takes care of the work for you. There is no guessing. How much weight do I put out here? We have the load spindles out here. So you can set this in a controlled traffic mode where you say, hey, I'm just gonna go ahead and put extra weight right here because the tractor's already up there doing the damage. We're just gonna hold a minimal amount of pressure on that wheel out there. The tire inflation system's gonna see that, take it down to 15 PSI. You're no longer causing damage out there, but yet you still have enough pressure out there to hold your, hold your row units in the ground. Or maybe you say, hey, you know what? I just wanna spread the load out. We can also do that. Automatic setting, it'll keep the same load on every spindle across this planter. So therefore you have even load distribution, right? There are no more pinch rows on this machine. We did the inline tandem. We have a wheel clear on the outside. You can set it clear on the outside of your planter. So when you drive one way and then you plant back the other, that tire goes over the same path. So now we're now eliminating even that pinch row. This planter has been thought of from the ground up. So when we did this, a clean sheet of paper, we went through what are the farmer's needs? Where are his bottlenecks? And that was the start of momentum. 